Hello, hello, hello! How are we all? Good. Welcome to Confab's Scottish Youth Poetry Slam Regional. It's the first ever National Youth Slam and the first time in the Traverse, so we're all really excited. My name's Kat Tepburn. I'm going to be your host for this afternoon. And thank you, thank you. And I'm sure, as everyone is, I'm really excited and looking forward to hearing all the amazing poetry that you've got for us. So, I'd like to introduce to you our judges. We've got Asif Khan. Can you stand up, please, Asif? Thank you. He is the director of the Scottish Poetry Library. Next up, we have Kate Welsh, who is a writer from Creative Scotland. Thank you, Kate. And last up, the uh, final judge is Cathy McGee, and she's from Dyslexia Scotland. Give us a wave, Cathy. Thank you. And we're all very lucky that we have a wee break in the middle, and we've got B Charlotte performing as well. So there are five schools competing today. We've got Bella Houston Academy from Glasgow. We've got Calderhead High School from North Lanark. We've got Kelso High School from the Borders. And we've got Port Glasgow High from Inverclyde. And finally, we've got Wallace High School from Stirling. So, for those of you who have not been to a slam before, the running order is going to be as so. We've got a group poem coming up first, and then we've got three rounds of individual poems. Then we've got the band, and then we'll get on to the prize giving. Woo! So, the way it will be scored is the uh, judges will be judging the poems on three key factors. The first one is going to be audience response, the second one is content, and the third is performance. And each poem will be rated out of 300. The top three teams will go on to the slam final at the Beacon Art Centre on October the 27th. Woo! So, I've heard a wee smattering of, uh, of cheers and applause. But I really want to hear you go for it. We're all here to support each other, and lots of you are here to support your specific schools. So I want to hear a wee practice uh, cheer as if you've heard the best poem you've ever heard in your life. Woo! <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I think you can do better than that. I want to hear the biggest cheer you've ever done in your lives. <laughs> That's more like it. Okay. And one more thing as well, we're all here to support each other and we're here to have fun. We don't want any booing. If anyone boos, they will immediately get their uh, school disqualified. So cheering only. And if you like a poem, then show your love and give them a good cheer at the end of it. And just be supportive of everybody. Okay, so first up, uh, we have Bell Houston Academy and they are going to do their first group poem. So please give them a big cheer. It's Bell Houston Academy. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, it's Adam, the best dang MC you'll ever see. I'm the king of kings and I got all the rings. Where I go rapping, I come packing. All I hear from you is tasteless yapping. You think that you're the real MC? I'm really surprised you never heard of me. My bars are tight and my swag's on point. I'm over here chilling because I'm the real boy. You're a waste man and you got no swag. All I ever see you do is brag. I spit hot flames and the crowd screams. You can't even say one bar running around in your mum's crap car. You pull in that card, <laughs> sitting sweating. I just wrecked you, I should have been betting. I'll give you something, you tried your hardest. Again, again, you probably came the farthest. You think that you are the punisher? I'm a call in Derek for the finisher. You think that you're the best thing I'm seeing? I'm surprised you're still here to even battle me. Adam, come on, man, we tried to be fair. You never had a girl, because you're the worst nightmare. <laughs> Tell me who you are. Better sit down, because you're going to get pawed. Better sit down, because you're going to get done. Yeah, this is going to be fun. I'm just here to back up my G. You should be worried because you're battling me. Stop rapping. Start taking examples from me. About to get card? Please, hit you with my bars and then you'll freeze because I'm like Sub-Zero. You ain't no hero. Come on, guys. We try to play nice, but talk about me. You're going to pay the price. Yeah, 
but you guys lost and that's the battle done but tell me people who, who do you, you think, think won? won thank you guys that was rap battle by Billy Houston Academy how good was that they got bars okay next up we've got Calderhead High School with the poem why bully <laughs> When they steal my lunch, it hurts, they pull my hair, they shove me hard off my chair. In the class, I've caused a distraction, and I see the teacher's reaction. It hurts my face when they stand in my lace. Why, Billy? Result, look at her, in trouble with the teacher again. No wonder she's got no friends. I tripped her up, it's not an assault, it's her own fault. I don't bully. Cyberbullying, what do they get out of it? In class, I don't know where to sit. A cyberbully could be around any corner. I wish the messages would be a goner. One message, will it be good or bad? All this over one little message tab. I lie in bed at night thinking, I want to cry, but I just keep blinking. Why bully? Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. I'd better take a look. There she's there. What a state. Oh my God, she's so ugly, mate. I open the message tab, start to write. It's getting late. I'd better say goodnight. Beyond my wildest imagination, they call me fat. It causes starvation. I ditch school. It's seriously not cool. School causes stress, also makes feel depressed, why bully? The bell rings, her phone pings, she's nowhere to be seen. She thinks it's cool to ditch school. You blame me, I don't have time to bully, I'm a busy bee. As the words come out their mouth, I start to want to move house. I want to get away from it all, I want to cuddle up in a ball. The words, they hurt, they treat me like I'm dark, why bully? It's only the truth I speak, but it's not my fault you're so weak. By telling you you are worthless, I hide my own problems. I treat you like people treated me. They bully, we bully, but not without any excuse. You can help by telling a teacher, a parent, a coach, any loving creature. If you see someone getting hurt, step up, no matter. Be nice, be helpful. Why, Why bully? bully? <laughs> That was amazing. Calderhead High School, everyone. Well done. Okay, please keep the applause going for Kelso High School with Tech Speak. When was the last time you read a text that made you regret the existence of humanity? <laughs> For me, that was about 40 minutes ago. Not an autocorrected word. When are you farming over? Sorry, coming over? Not a misplaced piece of punctuation. Not the common spelling errors. Or even an embarrassing message from a parent. Hey, Jonathan, did you remember to bring any spare underwear? <laughs> no, nothing annoys me more than text speak. People say my texts are mundane, like I've swallowed a dictionary or like I'm reciting Shakespeare. Those people are ignorant. Let me give you an example so you can share my pain and maybe then we'll all understand. Sup, WUU2? I'm fine, but I had a funny whelk for tea and I'm feeling a bit queasy. Okay, TMI. Okay. Hashtag saws G2G BRB. Okay then. Then roughly 40 minutes later they'll say... I was like... Cuz... WTL, mate. IKR. I'm afraid I don't know what you mean. <laughs> but I'll just assume that you think I do. So, what are you up to? NM. Crisis. Fake people just stay my nothing. They pretend to be someone that they're not. I think people are like them, but in reality, no. There's really no point. It's a waste of time. You'll be so boring. Lonely. And depressed. 
Just be yourself. Will the same life routine for 13 years? It's depressing. We go to the same places and see the same people. Wake up at horrendous times. Come home. Get dressed. Have dinner. Then wash. And repeat. Get dressed. Have dinner. Then wash. And repeat. Get dressed. It's shocking. Majority of the nation isn't even happy. Not actually living life at the fullest. The way they want. Do, Do something, something to, to remember. remember. Make, Make something, something of yourself. yourself. Think positive. Meet people. Go places. Learn through your own experiences. Not in school. Someone learned a hard way. Be, Be real. real. Don't do it for no one but yourself. It's your life and if others don't like it and judge you for it, who cares? Because once I leave school, I'm off. Living. Bye. <laughs> well done to Port Glasgow High School. Keep the applause going. It's the final one of this round. It's Wallace High with Is That True? treated as if you don't exist, putting up with it. Then you want to break. The smallest thing can be the final straw. Changing attitudes, as if it doesn't matter. Unloyal, Unloyal users. users. Making up lies to make them feel better. Just a wee white lie. That won't hurt anyone. But they don't know that it hurts. It's, it's a, a stab, stab in the back. back. A, a slap, slap in the face. face. Feeling used. You're their second choice. Everyone feels as if they've been betrayed. By, by sneaky two-faced liars. liars. Lying to impress, they don't know their truth from their lies. Your friendship gets stretched like an elastic band until the tension gets too much. And, and the, the band, band snaps. As soon as you get close, they throw you away as if you're a piece of rubbish that, that nobody, nobody wants. wants. People walking all over you like dirt on the bottom of your shoe. So, so obsessed, obsessed with being number one, changing their identity with everyone. everyone. Sniggering as you walk past. Laughing at your posts. They say what they want because they're hiding behind their phones. A perfect time place. For those who act the way they're not, covering up who they are with, with a mask of social media. media. Hearing news online rather than in person. People glued to their screens as if there's no tomorrow. Being used on a day-to-day -day basis, always focused on their online status. The trust you build up gets knocked away. Can people just stop and be who they are, even just for a day? So turn your phone off. Push it aside. Reconnect with your friends before, before they, they change, change their, their minds. Mind. Well done to Wallace High. What an incredible first round. Did everyone agree? They were all amazing. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the individual poems, first round. Uh, so first up, can I please welcome to the stage, it's Adam Coloco with French teacher and he's from Bella Houston Academy. Bonjour, it's me, I'm Coloco. I'm here to tell down like you. You tried to move me, but you can't stop me. I stole your stickers because I'm crazy. Your spelling is terrible, you should check it. I hate your class, I might just wreck it. Au revoir, sucker, I'll see you later. You're the most annoying alligator. I hate French, why is it even a subject? The stupid thing deserves no respect. It's like an animal that keeps on pesting me, because I'm not going to choose you, so just let it be. So now that you've listened to what I have to say to everyone and to the stars in the sky, I want you to know that this ain't no lie. So have a nice day and a biento. Goodbye. Amazing stuff, Adam. Thank you. Okay, next up we have Calderhead High School. Can I please welcome Amy Wilson to the stage with her poem, Friendship. Friendship. Friendship is like a light. When it is on, it's bright and shining. It makes you feel happy, joyful even. It makes you feel safe and whole. Friendship is like a light. When it is broken, you want to fix it. You need to fix it. You need to have the reassurance that the light will turn back on. Friendship is like a light. Friendship is valuable. Friendship is important. Friends will always be there for you when you need them the most. Some friends are for reasons, some friends are for seasons, and some friends are for life. Friends are the gift that come wrapped in a hug. Friendship is like a light. Everyone needs friends, because when you're scared and in the dark, 
Friends are the light that keeps on glowing through the good and bad times. Friendship is the most important light in the world. A friend isn't just a person. A friend is someone that you trust with your secrets, with your life. You turn to your friends when it feels like that light is going to have a power cut. Friendship is like a light. Friendship is a light that should never be turned off. Thank you very much, Amy. Okay, next up we have Kelso High School. Can Erin Ling please come to the stage? She'll be performing All That Is Left. Erin Ling! There used to be light shining through the curtains. Now, there are only shadows that move across the dirty glass. There used to be space to move and explore. Now, there are only the same four walls that seem to grow closer every day. There used to be laughter echoing through the halls. Now there is only silence filled with the drone of meaningless shows. There used to be friends joking over the occasional drink. Now is the drink that keeps me company. There used to be a smile every time I heard her voice. Now I have no reason to feel joy. I miss them. Beautiful stuff, Erin. Thank you very much for that. OK, next up we have Port Glasgow High. And can I please welcome to the stage Kerr McLean with The Thing In My Room. The Thing In My Room. Go away, spawn of Satan. Christ compels you. Oh no, Mum, a daddy long legs is in my room. I hear the satanic whispers of its soul. Treading. I hear my heart drop and I take a deep breath for I am about to partake in the staring contest. I will eye it down until it feels I'm a danger. Oh no, it's after me. Very well done, Kerr. Thank you. Okay, the last one up for this round of individual poems is Wallace High School. Can Adam Craig please come to the stage with his poem, Hey Fever? Thank you. Same as every morning at this type of year, my eyes glued together like bricks. Those horrible little tablets only make you choke. I swear this is a joke. And don't even get me started on those stupid eye drops. It looks like I'm crying and I feel like I'm dying. The buzzy little bees pollinate in the trees. Oops, I sneezed. Another packet of tissues, please. I need help. This isn't funny. My eyes are red and my nose is runny. The puffy face, sunglasses just in case. I can't be good looking if my nose is puking. Resist the itching. You look like you're twitching. Stay inside, away from the pollen tide. Can't look people in the eye or else you'll scream, Ah, you got red eyes. No way, Sherlock. I get that a lot. Please, make it stop. Thank you very much, Adam. And indeed, all of the individual poets there, I think you'll agree, they're all amazing. Are we ready for the scores yet for the group? One wee minute. One wee minute? Maybe we should just go... It's hard doing maths. Thank goodness I didn't have to do that bit. Otherwise, we'd be here all day. I am so rubbish at maths. Okay, so let's just get on to the next round. So we're going to do more individual poems. Can I please welcome to the stage from Bell Houston Academy, George McSporin with the poem, My Baby Brother. At first I thought I was going to hate you, but now I think, how could I? You're a little ball with giggles and love. When I first saw you, my heart dropped to the floor and smashed into a million pieces. Your smile makes me smile and your laugh is hilarious and I love you to bits. Oh, that was so cute. Thank you, George. Okay, next up we have Calderhead High School. Can we please have Liam Robertson to the stage? 
performing the poem War. War gives us no hope. It cuts people's throats. It has taken my everything. It is not worth the bloodshed. Wars would put that bullet in my head. War means another person's death. It destroys the flesh. It is the embodiment of sin and corruption. It is the devil's work full of destruction. War, it is murder. It is what made him hurt her. War, it is meaningless. There is nothing to gain. It means that tormenting pain. It stains your hands with blood. It means innocent people lying face down in the mud and trapped in the rubble. War means nothing but sorrow and trouble. War puts people on the ground. It is that cursed sound of gunfire and soldiers marching through the town. Brave people shot who refuse to stand down. It fills you with regret. War is something you just can't forget. And a bow there as well. Thank you very much, Liam. Okay, next up we have Kelso High School. Can you please welcome to the stage Ryan Beatty with his poem, Abyss. The fall to the abyss is incendiary by design, burning out and plummeting toward the bottom of a fjord or the shaft of a mine to impale upon a metaphoric sword. The sword in question, forged by forgotten memories and past torments. The flowing fjord is tears streaming. The mine built from years of attitude, too much, too little. He looked to others for appreciation, to complement his own depreciation. His father, an alcoholic, his mother, abusive. His sister, beaten. He lived a life not worth living. He was taught to look to the stars as they symbolised the purity he could never gain. To look the part, to hide the emotions, to drown, slowly but surely. He wrote a poem and called it Them, because that's what it was about. Them, the people who made him and it. He sent this to his friends so they would understand. He wrote another poem and named it Nothing, because that's what it was about. This time, he hung it on the bathroom door. He knew it would never gain an A, just as he could never reveal he's gay. Some, like him, find solace in their sleep. Others, I suppose, when they weep. He thought about his life and how its misery was all he felt. He saw silver and red, he saw fire and ice, he saw life and death. He thought up a new poem and called it Drowning, because that was, that's what it was about. His sister came home, looking for a friend, but the only comfort to her was the one truth, that her brother was gone and that he didn't have to suffer. His friends, his teachers, gave his poems an A. Too little, too late. They called him brave when all they did was send him to his grave. Wow, really dark stuff. Well done. Okay, next up we've got Port Glasgow. Can everyone please put their hands together for Jodie Pollock with her poem, Boston. Only ten more seconds. I'm so, so close to the line. I see my best friend, my sister, my mum and my dad standing next to the finish line. Then boom, I hear as I go flying through the air arms flailing, people screaming and running away. All that goes through my head, are my mum and dad dead? No, keep running, I tell myself. Blood everywhere, yet I see everything but no one all the same. Help, I scream, I can't see anything. I can't see my mum, I can't see anything. I can't see anyone. All the years I've trained for this, I never prepared for that. A bomb right next to the finish line, planted by two little rats. My friends, my family all gone under the rubble. I'm so alone in the city of Boston. Awesome stuff, Josie, thank you very much. Okay, last up on this round, we have Wallace High again. So please put your hands together for Karina Birkin with her poem, Zoom In. (laughs) 
I zoomed in, positioned the camera, getting the lighting just right, and snap! The photo had been taken, the memory preserved forever, in the strings of time, like so many others, blue tacked on my wall. Little pieces of my life, memories I've made, captured in freeze frame, never to be relived or forgotten, but always there, reminding me of then, smiling and happy, even when you're not, in the sun, even when it's winter, young and innocent, then old and withered, or taking a Polaroid and watching as the world appears in another tiny universe you were living in not moments before. Taking a photo is capturing a memory that you can change as you want, as it suits you, and can make you feel better. With one push of a button, you can do all this. One push of a button and snap. You exist. As a memory, as a life, as someone who is there, or once existed. A nameless person, a mystery, that someone might look over and think, who was she, like lots of other people, preserved in history with a photo? Well done, Karina. Thank you very much. Do we have any results yet? We do, them, we do have results, yeah? Okay, so I am going to read the group results first of all. Drum roll, please. So, Bella Houston Academy have got six, oh, 678 points. Calderhead High School have got 675. Kelso High School have 752. Port Glasgow High have 735. And Wallace High have got 757. So it's all pretty close for that round. Have we got the other results? Or we do them individual? Yeah. Okay, so I'll do the first round individual scores as well. So we have Bella Houston have 641. Calderhead High School have 743. Kelso High School have 761. Port Glasgow have 711 and Wallace High have 775. Give yourselves a big round of applause so far. Thank you. Okay, so we'll just crack on to the third round of individual poems. Uh, so can I please welcome to the stage again is Bell Houston Academy. And this time we've got Oliver Andrews with the poem Snappy. Wake up, sit up, grab the coffee cup, quickly down the porridge, butler, what's up? Today is Friday, that means Nissan GTR, driving to work in my favourite sports car. Pull up, get out, pose and pout, and flawless, perfect and I have no doubts. Expensive cafe, listen to Dappy, on the front of magazines looking snappy. Next stop, record shop, cross my albums at the top, street lights shine. Dinner time, sit in the lounge, try to think of more rhymes. Lie down, book out, book shut, fade to darkness and cut. Snappy by name, snappy by nature. Thank you very much for that. Okay, so next up we have Calderhead High. And can I please welcome to the stage Sahand Jaff with Bang Bang. Bang Bang. You ran away from all the madness. Bang, bang. You fell in dirt to get away from the noise. They said it was an honour. It wasn't. Bang, bang. Was he a coward for fleeing? Bang, bang. Where did his honour go? They said he could go home and the war was won. But it was death row and never-ending battle. Bang, bang. His friends being murdered. Bang, bang. They said the war would be different. They said we won the war together. But... In but instead, they bury them apart. Everyone knew, and everyone knew him in the past as a war hero. Now it's different. People walk by as they laugh. He was once loved. He was kind. But now he's tired, ugly, dirty. A war veteran, alone in the cold, dark streets. He was wishing for a no try at life. Now he's dead, but walking. He wants to shut down, but he can't close his eyes. Moving place to place, surrounded by people. But now, always alone. Not even pennies dropped as he lifts his sweaty hand of dirt towards him. His old coffee cup at the bins 
is as dry as the Sahara Desert. He used to be a horo, ho hero, now a hobo. Bang, bang, he made our streets safe. Bang, bang, now he was a shadow to all. Now no one knows him. We walk by, closing our eyes, hoping he'll go away, but he won't. Strong words there by Sahand. Thank you so much. Okay, next up we have Kelso High. Can we please have a warm round of applause for Struan Henderson with his poem, Skill. Pupils shout and laugh. The corridors throb with life and then with the chime of a bell, they're empty. Nothing remains, only the smell of cleaning fluid, strong in my nostrils. Late, I enter my own class, full of apprehension, tension, desperation, frustration, and more than a little bit of sadness. The teacher stands alone, framed by a perfect square of white, and talks on and 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 on <sighs> god i'm bored so bored but then the voice stops only to be replaced by the sound of pen on paper six more lessons follow the first each more tedious than the last a hastily digested lunch brings about the afternoon just how the hell do I make it through the day? How do any of us? Reading and writing, writing and reading, until the final bell rings. And I lick the Thank you very much, God, that took me right back. Okay, next up we have Port Glasgow High. We'd like to welcome to the stage Morgan Burns with the poem, My Obsession. Here I am, watching the same scene of the same movie again. One of my favourites of all time, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> I've got my, I'm on my bed with my Gryffindor pillow, my plush pink pygmy puff called Arnold, like the one in the Half-Blood Prince, and my wand at my side ready to cast the spells as they are mentioned. Wingardium Leviosa! Man, I love that spell. I know I'm wide-eyed and smiling because I'm like this every time I watch one of the movies. Petrificus totalis. Damn, I'd love to do that to someone. <laughs> I wish I was the one that put the body bind hex on Neville and was helping the Golden Trio find the Philosopher's Stone, but that's not the case, so I guess I'll just have to mouth the lines as they are spoken and believe, because disbelief destroys the magic. What can I say? I'm obsessed. <laughs> Magical stuff, Morgan, thank you. Okay, last up on this round, it's Wallace High. And can we please welcome Rob Gilmore to the stage with Black Lives Matter. Black lives, it's not really living if all that happens is all this killing. The cops come and do the deed just because they think we have weed. We don't break the law. The law breaks us, and the white people wonder, what's all the fuss? I was told a story about a lady not having money to support her baby. She gets all this hate just because she's black, and continues to wonder why she gets all the slack. The child is brought up into a world where black is darkness and white is light. Black is a stain, and purity is white. She herself didn't understand, so she asked her mother why being black is bad. Her mother would reply, it isn't. As being black to me is beautiful. Without the black of the night sky, what star would ever shine? And as the child grows, her mother goes to the realm of death, approaching close. It seems to go around in an endless loop, and yet they wonder why we break the law, if only they could see the misery that we saw. The blood always runs red, skin colour makes no difference. Why do they feel no regret when their bullet sets the sentence? If they murder our kin, when will the preservation of humans begin? We need to see each other as souls instead of bodies with different skin.
amazing stuff, Rob. Thank you very much. So I have in my hand the results for the individual round two. And I think it's okay to show your appreciation for the scores this time. So when I read them out, I want to be cheer, right? So, Bella Houston, I've got 684. <laughs> Calderhead High School have 767. <laughs> Kelso High School have 754. <laughs> Port Glasgow have 816. <laughs> and now I need a hearing aid. I'm looking. <laughs> and uh, finally, Wallace High have 781. <laughs> So, can we please have a massive round of applause for all the individual poets that have been so far. You've all been amazing. Yeah. So, I'm just going to do a wee poem. Woo! Yeah. Try and do one of my ones that don't have swearing in them. <laughs> you are not my boyfriend. Calling you my boyfriend would mean it's something. And if it's something, then when it ends, I'm left with nothing. So it's better to say it's nothing than to admit it's anything, anything. Call me anything but your girlfriend. Let's fill in the gap between complete strangers and soulmates with something. Something like seeing. Yes, I'm seeing you. But if seeing is believing, does that mean that I believe in you? I don't believe we have a future. It's just a bit of fun. The type of fun that makes me want to hold your hand when I'm drunk. Tell you a secret. Go to you when I'm upset. Chat to my pals about you. Check my phone for your texts. Wait, this is turning into something. But it's not anything. I'm still single on Facebook and you've not met my parents. We are keeping this casual because I would rather do anything. Anything but admit that I've fallen. Falling suggests down. Falling suggests face to the ground. Falling suggests the beginning of the end. The end of nights out with my pals. Independence free time, focus on my work, spontaneity. I mean, there's a chance I could move abroad any minute now, so best not get attached. Attached. We're not attached. We're not each other's other half. Let's be honest, our personalities clash. We don't like the same tunes. Your pals are idiots. <laughs> it's run its course, so how do we break up when we were never really together? Can we have a sad goodbye when we never said forever? Tell you what. We'll go our separate ways. Just stop hanging out. Get on with our days. And if someone says, do you know him? I'll say, yeah. We used to have something. Thank you. <laughs> One more. No. Yep. Okie doke. So now I have in my hand the individual scores for the final round. Drum roll, please. We have Bell Houston Academy, 688. Calderhead High School have 691. Kelso High School have 720. Port Glasgow High have 719. And Wallace High have 712. So... I believe I have the overall scores in my hand. Is it time for that? I've, I need to rely on my glamorous assistant. Okay, so the top three are going through into the finals. So in fifth place, we have Bella Houston Academy with 2,691 points. Well done, Bella Houston. In fourth place, with 2,876 points, we have Calderhead High School. Well done, Calderhead. Okay, now, this means that the top three, number three, uh, is Port Glasgow High with 2,981. Well done, Port Glasgow. You went through to the final. And first place is Wallace High with 3,025. 3, and second place was Kelso High School. So well done to those three. That's amazing. I think it goes without saying that you all did incredibly well. I was totally blown away with the Connor Hussein. Next. 
first up at Calderhead High School, we have Liam Robertson. Please come and get your certificates, guys. Thank you. We also have at Kelso High School, Ruth Robertson. And for Port Glasgow High, we have Ellis Higgins. Well done. And finally, for Wallace High, it's Rob Gilmore. Thank you. So these guys got the Outstanding Achievement Award, so very well done. Get your research certificates. Okay, so next up we have the, in, uh, the group poem certificate, that's right. So this is for the poem that we all heard at the beginning. Okie doke. So we have... Is Asif in the house? Yes, can you come up here please? You're being summoned. Can you be my can you be my glamorous assistant now? Can you give out these? So if you hold that and I'm gonna read them out. So first of all, as I said before, we're gonna uh, go through the group winner. So that's the winner from the very first round. So uh, the judges were unanimous in this. It's going to be Wallace High School. Well done everyone from Wallace High to the group one. So if you come up here and ask if we'll give you your certificate. Okay. Uh, next up. Oh. Well done, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Okay, so next up we have two runners-up and then one winner for the individual round. So the first runner-up is Karina Birkin. <laughs> if you come to the stage to get your certificate. And the second individual runner-up is Adam Craig. <laughs> Thank you. Which means... There's one more, there's one more. Yeah, okay, which means the winner of the individuals is Jodie Pollock with her poem, <laughs> Boston. Thanks, Arthur. You get the picture as well. Well done. Big round of applause. Okay, so that's us coming to the end of the Slam National Regionals. Uh, I've had so much fun. I hope you guys have had too. Now, we are, we've got a few thanks to give for, for lots of people have made today happen. So I'd like you to keep the applause going for the Traverse, our wonderful judges, all our partners, the Slexia Scotland, Glasgow Life, Inverclyde Council, Scottish Book Trust, Scottish Poetry Library, Stirling Council, all our fabulous facilitators, Creative Scotland, Glasgow City Council, and finally all the amazing poets that took part. Big round of applause. And we've got one, one final wee note from my first glamorous assistant. She's going to tell you a wee bit about something that she's uh, been organising. This is Nicole, everybody. Hi guys, that was spectacular. Oh my gosh, this is the best afternoon of my job ever. That was amazing. Thank you so much. Like all of you, that was amazing. Um, I work for the Scottish Book Trust. I am the Young Writers Coordinator uh, over there. Um, how many of y'all have heard of SBT before? How many? 
It's okay if like only one hand goes up. Oh, two, three. All right, we're doing better than most rooms I'm in. Excellent. Okay, it was just to say to you guys, I know a lot of you worked so hard and did such an amazing job producing those poems that we just heard today. I wanted to make sure all of you knew that there actually exists a writer and illustrator development program targeted at teenagers like you, which I run. Its name is What's Your Story? And it's open for young people to basically submit their work to and receive professional feedback from other people in the creative sector. So it's not your teachers, it's not your friends and your family, Family. It's people who are already in the creative sector and want to help your voices be heard now, not when you're older, now. So if it's something that y'all are interested in, whether or not you perform your poetry, you write your poetry, whether or not you illustrate, whether or not you do comic books, podcasts, whatever the heck y'all do, please come check out my site, um, www.thestorius.co.uk. I've got tons of postcards, which I'm very happy to hand out to you guys as you're leaving um, to make sure you guys have the web address. It's free to take part. It's for you. It's for everyone in this room who is keen on basically having their creative voice developed and heard a little bit further afield. So if it's something y'all are keen on, which I think it might be, I think I might be talking to the right crowd today, uh, please just see me as y'all are leaving and ask me any questions you ever want. And thank you so much for today. That was spectacular. That was amazing. Okay, thank you, everybody. My name's Kat Hip. And one big last round of applause for all the players and the judges. And thank you very much to Confab for organizing. Have a great day.